Emmanuel, I think we got your burner, brother. What's going on, fellas? We're back here with Emmanuel's burner. We're attempting to get him dialed in with something that's a lot more efficient than what they're running. Something that can get hot enough to melt the stones that they're putting in their furnace. I think this is going to be the ticket. Right now we're limited by our blower power and I do have another blower on the way. So this thing can probably do far more than what we're seeing here with a more powerful blower. We could go to straight like jet engine mode. As I said, uh, this one does require a fuel pump. So we're not using the air compressor. So in exchange for that, we will be needing a fuel pump, however. And this is what we got. The camera's not picking up the flame rate properly. That's an actually a lot more high velocity flame than it looks. For some reason, the camera makes it look more feathery than it actually is. It's actually quite the stable jet. It's right on the verge of being a jet engine. It needs just a little bit more blower power. So this is just a preliminary test. I wanted to fire this thing up as soon as possible to see if it works. I'm gonna be doing some more testing tonight in the dark so we can see things a little bit better. Here's a better look at the actual flame velocity. You can see when I change the exposure, how the, the speed of that flame looks a little faster. That's kind of what it looks like in real life. It's a very fast, high powered flame. This thing should have no problem getting up to cast iron melting temperatures. And as far as waste heat, you can almost put your hand on the uh, exterior shroud there without getting burnt. It gets pretty hot towards the end, but other than that, I hit the nail on the head with this combustion liner can. So we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this thing. We're gonna run it through its paces. We're gonna check it out tonight too, in the dark.